take one, take one. Welcome to Let's Play Katara. Time to start a new game. What do I name it? It's still the default name. Hello? Classy. Classic. Oh my. That feels very unoriginal. Do you want to be a boy or a girl? Whatever. You're a girl. Well, yeah, but you're a boy. So. You're the one that controls. I'm the one that's controlling it. Okay. Um, I, can, I could be a redhead. I could be a painting. Or it's I a ghost. <laughs> a ghost. I could be a ghost. I can actually be a ghost if I use Pandora's box, but you didn't seem to want to use Pandora's box. Okay. Or I could be Ake slash... Who's, what's the other girl? Alcmena? <laughs> I gotta go with the... Redhead. Okay. It matches with your hair. It does. But being a ghost is cool, too. Looking like a ghost equals being a ghost, but my sprite has to look like a ghost. Okay, so archetype. Do you have a favorite archetype? Um, I don't remember. You prefer I feel like, the rogue, don't you? I feel like the mage ones are like the best as far as actually being powerful in the game, but the rogue, you can get the mushroom steak. Rogue is actually the worst, because look, you only have like one, two, three, four, five aptitudes. Yeah, and, and and a wizard gets the eight. They all of them get eight aptitudes, except for the rogue. It only gets five. <laughs> so it is actually the worst. Except for the mushroom state. And you can get an edible strange device too if you're into that sort of thing. Dude, it's the only way to fly. <laughs> But it has a poor mind, which is not good. The mind's what, what you really need the most of. Body is not very important because you can get that belt of strength. The body would be more important if it weren't for that putting stuff in boxes cheap. Is bug fix. He did yeah. not fix that. It would be disappointing if he did because he mocks that. Rely on that bug <laughs> so much. Uh, I don't know. Should I be a mage or a rogue? Whatever. You tell me. Should I make it harder for myself or easier for myself? It depends on your goals. If you want, if your goal is to get a mushroom steak, it's gonna be harder with a mage. <laughs> this is. I don't think I can do it with a mage. I never figured out how. It's possible to me, Nathaniel. I'm gonna be really disappointed if I choose a rogue and I'm not able to get the mushroom steak. Yeah. Just saying. That's gonna be disappointing. Alright! Okay. Shorty's up with a bunch of reading. It was another hot summer evening where the humidity was high enough to make sleep all but impossible. The ceiling fan in the bedroom isn't enough to overcome the stickiness. Off in the distance, the dull crash of thunder. A chance of scattered storms, the forecast had said. Restful sleep just wasn't going to come this night, and it wasn't just the weather. Dreams, dark and disturbing, linger in the back of the mind, almost forgotten, but not quite. Their unquiet spirits fight to come to the surface, but cannot break the barrier of the consciousness. Dark forms, dead things with an unnatural glow, a sense of loss, of control, and madness, corruption in ancient powers, alien to mankind, things that seem normal on the surface, but are wrong, so very wrong underneath. Rising, seeking solace in television, but nothing is found there but inane infomercials selling some snake oil or pyramid scheme designed to steal the dreams and money of the weak. A glass of water, perhaps, can chase away the troubles in the back of the mind, walking as if still asleep outside to the patio. The desire for air, perhaps less stagnant. A breeze is heard in the distance, stirring the leaves of a night oak, but no release from the weather is felt. The storm approaches from the west, with the tingle of ozone being added to the atmosphere, and an unnatural greenish glow seen in the clouds. That glow is somehow familiar and disturbing. 
The east is still clear and stars can be seen, the only thing that seems to provide any comfort. There, low and near the horizon, Mars, ancient god of war. It is then that blackness comes, but not the blackness of night. Not just the absence of light, instead the blackness of a void, the absence of all. All sight, all sound, all feeling, all sense of time and space. It comes in an instant and lasts for an eternity before slowly fading. It is good our savior stirs, says the hunchback fool, dressed in motley. He turns to his companion, a taller, distinguished older man whose face is both timeless and yet bears the toll of an unknown number of years. Yes, Magpie, it is good. I hope you are right. I am severely weakened to have cast so far across so much for this one. I just don't know. Trust the Magpie, you must. Has the counsel of Magpie ever been wrong? The choice was a good one, the risk worth the reward. This was your last best chance for regaining your power and saving the land from being destroyed. Much rests on the shoulders of this young one, but the choice was good. I get to actually open the game and read some more. Before you stands an older, dignified gentleman, but with a look of desperation. Ah, good, you are about. We were worried that you were harmed. I suppose I should explain what happened. My name is Alaric, and you are now in the land of Cythera. You were summoned in a final desperate attempt to save Cythera and its ruler from chaos and madness. You have to pronounce it differently every time you read every time I read <laughs> the name of the land. I am that ruler, and I have a special bond with the land and people of Cathera. For over <laughs> 200 years, I have used my magic to keep it prosperous. Unfortunately, over the past couple of years, my power has waned, and with it, Cythera has started slipping into chaos. It is as if that bond were dissolving, the land somehow changing. I do not understand it. The more impotent I become, the more frustrating it is to see it all slipping away, like waking from a dream. I have trusted the fates to summon an outsider from Matathea. Matathea? Matathea. <laughs> so, for only an outsider will be able to see through this cloud that blocks my vision. That blue text is terrible contrast. You, of course, are that outsider. Do not think that I did this on a whim. It has cost me most of my remaining power to do so. I must trust you to help me. I am sorry for the danger this costs you, but you are my hand to Thera's last chance. Okay. Yes, is there is the land. <laughs> um, matter. Matter Thea. Earth Mother, at least before the journeys, brought us here. Now we are without Matathea, but there are stories. Stories. Stories tell of a power formed of Earth which still walks the land, whom we call Metics. However, I doubt that they still live, or I should have been able to detect their presence. Journey. We are not from this place, but from the same Earth that you are. We lived on an island called Thera until Enidisonidan reclaimed it. But that was not without warning, for a stranger in the form of the Holy Bull appeared, telling us to flee. We saw Thera destroyed from the safety of our ships at sea. That night a storm such as has never been before tossed us about until in the morning when we woke up tossed aside at the beach near what would become the city of Cadenia. Or so goes the legend. I am not a historian. Perhaps you should ask another. No, I'm gonna ask you, the historian. <laughs> my history, I remember a few parts. Living with my mother as a child in Catamarca. When she died, I left Catamarca to Rome. How I survived, I don't know. I think I was seeking out the exiled mages, for I felt I had powers beyond those of normals, and I would learn of them. Instead of finding them, I wandered into a cave, but it was not a cave. I crossed a bridge of stars and found an abandoned hall or temple of some sort. Who built this place I knew not. It was empty and abandoned, but great power called to me. 
I remember standing on the edge of the abyss and felt myself surrender to it, becoming one with it and with the land. It was then that I became the Land King. I know not how long I stood there, for years it was certain, and in the end, I had completed the bond. <coughs> I knew then that rule of the tyrants must be ended, and thus I ended it. And from that came the current system of houses and judges. All that seems to be failing now. Perhaps my time has ended. Bond. I am, or was, at one with the land and its people. I have provided all the basic needs of its people, a bountiful land, mild weather, and peace for its people. But now it all seems to be slipping away, a void where I can neither see nor affect. Okay, the other questions are kind of stupid. Like, what's your name? I am Alaric. Did I tell you before? I'm sorry. How rude of me. And what do you do? I am keeper of the land of Tethera, though at times I feel like a stranger. Help. Hmm. Let's look you over. You look in pretty good shape as it is. And I could train, but that would use all of my training points, so I'm not going to do that right now. I could ask him where stuff is, but that's not really very helpful. So, I'm gonna say bye. Here, take this amulet. It has my symbol on it. When worn around your neck, it will save your life if you die. You can also use it to bring back a companion from the halls of death. But be warned, it has a limited number of uses. He gives you an amulet on a gold chain. Despite your lack of magical abilities, the scrolls will still be useful to you. I've got some quarters set up for you. Magpie will show you around. <coughs> Follow Magpie, you should! Magpie points to the end of the hall to the north. At the end of the hall, the library is. Much learning can be found in there, from the books written by elders. Do you well it might to learn. These are quarters for you. Provisions in there are. The things in your quarters are yours. Serve you well, they shall. But be careful not to steal from others. Sit there as an honorable land, and such deeds will serve you well. But be careful. Wait. Magpie looks round quickly. Magpie is the fool, but even Magpie knows your journey will be dangerous, young one. Good it would do you to learn what you can. Important visitors come and go, but you are unique. Dimodokis stays across the hall for the nonce. Talk with him, a magpie would, or would that magpie be you? Also, one might ask around to see if somebody would like to join you on your quest. Okay, I'll try to take a step <coughs> into my room. I'm stopped. A strange-looking face suddenly fades into view before you. Say strange-looking is an understatement. Looks like a mother. <laughs> Poor little human, so far from home and so far from the truth. You do know, don't you, that Alaric is not all he says he is. True, he is bound to the land, but as a usurper. He does not belong in the position of power, and he upsets the balance of the world by being there. And you, my friend, are just another puppet of his. Now is the time of change, and you are at the pivot point. <clears throat> but which way will the balance swing? To the east, or to the west? I know what way he's <clears throat> hoping for. And myself? I am Omen, and my master has instructed me to watch for one like you. At great price to myself, I come to you as a vision to warn and guide you, protect and teach you. I think it actually cost him anything to appear as a vision. He's just he, making that up. He had to use most of his mana. <laughs> so. But he keeps doing it throughout the game. Well, you know, start. Know you this, there is more going on here than meets the eye. A power struggle as old as the world itself. And in this struggle, you are trapped. If you ever expect to be free, heed my advice well. 
Palerik must be destroyed to restore the land. And in the end, you will do this. To aid you in your destiny, I have a small gift to prove our word. But first, you must learn the ways of the land. And to this end, my master has prepared a small test of your abilities. For you must hone your skills. As a sword is tempered, so must you be. Seek your way out of this proving grounds, and along the way, you might find your reward. Follow our counsel, and you will be well rewarded. Ignore it at your own peril. <coughs> Until we meet again, be on your guard, and trust not what your eyes behold. <coughs> I hope you're not tired of reading, because we have a scroll here. Yay, yeah, scroll. <laughs> Can you read that? It's tiny. Barely. Welcome, human, to my little test for you. It is not hard to pass and will give you some of the skills you need to survive. Though you may feel like a creature in a cage, I hope that Omen did not startle you. His appearance is, is strange, but don't let that deceive you. You have already passed the first part of the test. You have read this note. Next, Yay. you must pull that nearby lever to open the gate leading you to the next room. There you'll find a lacquered, locked, locked a locked trap door. Find the key, open it, and then go down the ladder. Intense. I can't believe it's not better. Open up the inventory, go ahead and put on the Land King amulet. Bling! It's dark in here, so I can barely see <laughs> Can't see the portcullis. <laughs> Look, so, it's a box. Yeah, there's there's the lock trap door. There's the box. And another scroll to read. Sorry, the key is not in this chest, but a good try. Look to your south. Notice anything interesting about the wall? Try using it. Oh, you might want to use one of the torches in this chest. It will provide some light for you. If you wield it in your hands. I normally wouldn't bother, but you really can't see the, the secret door at all. That one. Light. Oh, can you see the secret door? You can, like, almost. Mm. There we go. It's a secret It's door. a box! Oh, it's a key! There's our key we were looking key for. Key number D. I'm hearing some some static. I think that might be a problem. something over here. Ooh, a secret door. What's this to say? Ah, very good. Very observant finding that second secret door. But not all discoveries like this lead to reward, unfortunately. However, this one does. So there's the reward in this unlit wall torch. A ring. So ring. Yeah. Put it on my finger. And you get a strange feeling. Searching for the ring. You get a strange feeling. Okay. That's what happens when you put on strange rings. Trap door. Downstairs. A note. Another note. Yay. This room is trickier. The door is locked by a spell. You have but one chance to get this one open. Take that strange looking object, what you would call a bomb, pick it up, use it to light it, and then toss it so it lands right next to the door. Stand back and let time pass. Normally I would take the bomb and go back Run up, away! Go back upstairs where there's a, a way you can get down. All the cool people. <laughs> but I think maybe I should actually some another more torches. Torch. Yay! That torch is like almost gone, so I won't bother with it. What's your turn? That's the end of the test. Yeah, but you. But I feel like I need to actually go through. Oh, did I just do this? One? <laughs> go through Owen's test so that if um if we get far enough in the game to read a, the book about the test, then it'll make sense. Mm. You know, assuming we actually get a viewer who's never played this game, this is totally not gonna happen. Yeah. Get in the 
Another note! Yay! Not all levers are easily found. Perhaps if you rearrange things a bit here. Don't worry, all the crates are empty, so it is easy for you to move them, and you don't need to waste your time searching them. So actually, to be honest about searching them, they are all empty. I don't even Break remember where the lever is. Send it on the bottom side. I think it's on the bottom. Because I, I'm always take that shortcut. I don't know, shorty. I don't see it on the bottom. <laughs> Belt didn't find that. Okay. Now, this, uh, I'm really worried about that staticky sound. I think it's ruining our video. So, I need to get over there. You can't see me pointing at the screen to that lever. You have, but, you have a cursor. Oh, a cursor. Yeah, that would, that would help. Um, <laughs> but when I try to get to it, I just keep teleporting through this maze. Go back to the beginning. Is it, you just keep go around. Then over oh, here is, is there, the end. Is there a secret door there? There's a line on it. No, here, other side. Oh, yeah, this is a secret door, but there's no obvious way to operate it. Uh, I need to actually pull the, the lever. Yeah. So. Hello, skeleton. There we go. So pulled the lever, now I need to get back to the secret door. Oops, not that way. Okay, I'm really not good at this, am I? Go to, you've got to go near the bottom. Okay. Bottom line. Did I go up or down here? Uh, there we go. The token! The vision of Omen returns. Well done, human. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And I see you found your reward. That was well done. May it serve you well. Still, even this may not be enough, so I have another gift for you. Yay! I shall grant you another boon. This magical mapping device that lets you see where you've been. Remember our advice, and perhaps we shall meet again. I shall be watching you and your actions. If you ever find yourself returning to my little test, I'll tell you a secret. I already told you the secret, so... When you pull the lever in the first room, an illusionary wall opens under the torch, so you can walk through the wall there. From that secret room, just take the ladder down to my quarters here. In the meantime, I will return you to your quarters. Speak to no one of this encounter of ours. I wish I could speak to someone about it. <coughs> Nobody recognizes the prompt. Alright, here's the map, the map that oh, Omen yeah. gave us. It just, I mean, I'm a little white dot. Items you can move or take, or pink dots. Ground the bed? Is, no, the bed. No, the bed's invisible. Yeah, this is, you can move the oh, lamp, the you lamp. can move the map, you can move the chair. Um, no, you can move the chair. You can, like, change the direction of it, but it'll disappear. Kind of way, so. Here's some stuff he gave me. A cloak. I like cloaks, sandals, sandals a little pouch to wear. So you keep your bread in there. Yeah, I gotta put some bread in there. Here's a map, a non-magical one. We're up here in Land King Hall. You can see the towns, Odemia, Academia, Catamarca, wait, Catamarca's, Catamarca's over here, <laughs> Gosha, and Nyx. And you can see the river Tyrant. Okay. Is that how I pronounce it? River Sidia? River Styx? In a mine. There's a, yeah, there's an iron mine there. Swamp, lands and volcano over here. Also, volcano, volcano, volcano. The volcano. static's getting louder. I don't know about the city. Here's some scrolls. Directed Nexus is a good one. Um, Death okay, Strike's so a good we can one. see what they are. I'm, no, I can't open it. That would be using it. 
See, it it says it says, it says down. Scroll. No, scroll oh. of directed nexus right here, but I can't. Scroll directed nexus to look this way. There's minor embrightment, vision of the night, detect traps, detect concealment. Detect traps and detect concealment are pretty useless. I'll go ahead and take the spiking just one just to trap us in case. Most of them are dead. Oh, I already opened that. Okay, gave me a sword. Stabity, stabity, stabity. Some money. Oh, we could put money in the house. Yeah, but you can only fit 40 in there. I'm not be able to fit anything else. A cuirass? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Leather helmet. Torches. I didn't take the one torch that would have died as soon as I used it. I think it's that for three torches. Yes, it's right. It's in my chest. And then I've got a buckler, which is a little shield, but I can't hold it while I'm holding a torch. So. I don't know. Do you think we should stop here and see if the video is even usable? Probably. Okay. Thank you for watching episode one.